Hey, good afternoon. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids. If you want to get a message to me quickly and have me respond easily, visit me on Facebook under Clay's AC and Auto Repair. If you like watching this video, please like. Give me some nice comments if you want. Share my videos because I usually show you some tricks and show you how to do some stuff. Also, subscribe to my page. I make videos all the time. Make your life easier if you're ever working on something try to anyway so today we're obviously installing a new fuel pump inside our 2007 chevy uh, tahoe now what we found was in here in michigan and usually upper states that use salt on the roads you get a lot of rust and you get this problem you notice the, there's something missing the two barbed holes are missing and what happened with this situation right here was they actually broke off inside the plastic lines which brings me to the reason i'm making this video so they broke off in there, and if you've ever worked on one of these or you have this problem, it's it's a very common occurrence. It, you're generally going to end up breaking them clips because the clips are the only thing that's really holding that line in. But you end up getting some rust. And I want to show you, talk to you about a technique that I had. Um, this particular one, I was able to break the clip off and then just spin it with the with the needle nose pliers and pull it out and get the rust ring out of there. But notice how there's no O ring down on here. That's because it's up in the line. And this one doesn't, I don't think it does. The O-ring actually came out. And this is the one in particular that I'm making the video on and the reason for it. Because this one broke off because I wasn't careful enough, I guess. And actually, there was another guy that wasn't careful enough. I'm not going to say his name, Jeff. I mean, uh, the other guy. Um, <laughs> he broke it off down inside there. So what I did was is I removed the whole line assembly. I took this and put it in the vise. And I put it in the vise so it wouldn't spin you can see it kind of got a little bit crimped there but i don't think that's a big deal um and i took a drill and i drilled in the hole now i didn't drill through it i wasn't trying to drill it out what i needed to do was get this thing to spin because once you break the clips out of there the only thing that's holding this in is these these o-rings and this rubber grommet and the and the bit of rust that is corroded up in there so i used some P, pb blaster put some penetrate inside there just to give it a little bit more and once i got it to spin with the drill bit I actually just let it spin and tried to pull the drill bit out gently so this came up out of the hole at the same time hopefully that tips helpful for you uh getting that broken brake that broken fuel line out of there uh that's what worked for me just be careful and delicate you know and uh, do your thing man don't be the next to them be the next to, first to you and god bless have a great day please like me share my share my videos and subscribe to my page and have a great day